Hey, beautiful people. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Sensible Decor. I thank you for stopping by my channel. If you are new to my channel or new, don't know how you got here, you just landed here and you're watching this video, I say welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are a subscriber, I say thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Your um, doing so helps my channel and I welcome you back. So, with that said, tonight I am working on a quick little video to show you just how I make my photo plates. Now, these photo plates make great gifts um, for anniversaries, um, for um, memorabilia. Um, if you have old photos that you, you want to preserve and display, I think the photo plates are great. They're also great um, for memorializing loved ones um, that have gone on. Um, a lot of times we'll do the shirts and different things like that, um, the shirts, the hoodies. Um, and I just think that this is something that will last a lot longer. Um, it's a little bit, um, I don't want to say classier. I don't want to downgrade the shirts or anything, but it's on a different level. Um, and so this video is to show you just how I have made some photo plates. Um, and they make great, great gifts, okay? So what you will need for this, um, to make this project is a plate. Now, I have a plate that has a gold rim on it and um, a gold rim on the inside and the outside. I just think that it's a finer type plate, but you can also get plates from the Dollar Tree. You can get plates from Goodwill, your thrift store, your local thrift store. They always have some plates that may have some unique character or design on them. Uh, so, but you need a plate. You're also going to need... Um, silicone brush something to smooth your image with and I like the silicone because you don't want to tear the image and this paper that you've printed your image on is very thin so I think that the silicone br brush works well if you do not have a silicone brush no worries you can also use a coffee filter okay a coffee filter will work just fine um, I also have a lint-free cloth on hand um, just because we're dealing with water, we don't want the lint to stay behind on on our uh, project. So a lint-free cloth of some sort will work great. And then you need your image. And now what I have is my image. I have printed it on, you're going to need some water slide decal paper. I use haze water slide decal paper for inkjet. If you have a laser, they have a, a laser paper, but I use inkjet um, and I, I print my image out on that. And you're also gonna need to seal your image. So to seal your image, you're going to need some kind of spray sealant. I use, and I'm gonna pop an image in there for you. I use the crystal uh, clear Krylon I also use the Color Max Crayon, uh, Color Max uh, Clear by Crayon, but something a clear adhesive, a clear sealant, a clear silicone. Let me see what it's called. Hold on, I think I'm telling y'all wrong. I think it's acrylic, but this is it, Color Max Clear. Uh, this is a satin crystal clear, and this is basically a sealant. And you need this to seal your picture because you don't want your ink to run because you're going to be putting this, soaking this picture in water, okay? You're going to be soaking your image in water. And you can see that mine has a, a shine on it, you know, on it. Um, but when I put this in the water, the image shouldn't come off. I'm going to print your image on your water decal paper and you are going to seal your image. I'm going to pop a quick video in uh, this video showing just how I seal another image. It's very quick. You're going to use your spray. You're going to spray your image going in a couple different directions. Let it dry. You're going to let it dry for about 20 minutes to a half an hour. Spray it again in a couple different directions, let it dry, 
And then the third time, you're gonna spray it. You're gonna let it dry. And at that point, I let it dry for at least a good hour. You wanna make sure that this is completely dry. And that paint usually dries. It dries fairly quick. It'll tell you on the can. But you wanna go above and beyond and make sure that this is dry because we are going to soak this into water. And so, uh, in addition to the supplies I've already listed, you're going to need a bowl of warm, lukewarm water, which I'm gonna get uh, when I'm closer to uh, using it. So I have my image on my paper and I printed this out in silhouette, uh, in my silhouettes, um, you know, my silhouette software. And I made sure to put registration marks on here because I want my silhouette to cut this. And if you're using a silhouette, you have an added benefit because if you add registration marks and you send this back to your silhouette, your silhouette will cut that circle out nice and even, a nice crisp, even cut. If you do not have a silhouette and you have a steady hand, then you can, once you have formatted your image into a circle to fit your plate. Um, and if you don't know how to do that, I, give me a, let me know in the comments and I can put a quick video in there to show you guys how to make your image, um, crop your image into the size that you need to be able to fit onto your plate. Um, I can do that. Now, with my registration marks on here, and I can now send this through my silhouette for it to cut. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to pop the image onto the plate. The longest portion of, of this project is sealing your image and waiting for it to dry. Other than that, it's it's a breeze. Now, in order to embellish my, my uh, plate, I did cut out some words. And you'll see on the plates that I put in the, the video, the, the other plates, you can make the words, you know, make it say whatever you wanna say. But I did use my silhouette to cut out some some wording to add to the plate and i do have a video i'm gonna drop that's gonna show you how to curve your text so that it will fit on your plate like so so i'm gonna go ahead and send my image through the silhouette get it cut come back with a bowl of water and we're gonna pop this baby right on this plate so i'll be right back all right guys welcome back welcome back so i have cut my image out using my silhouette and I'm just going to peel this off the mat and to do so actually I got some tape on here because my mat was not as sticky as I wanted it to be so I added some tape because you don't want your image moving you want it to be secure to the mat because you want it to cut all the way through to give you a nice clean cut so I just took some tape taped my image down and I was sure to not get close to the registration marks because I didn't want that to not to impede uh, my machine from reading the marks so and hopefully that's not too much light I feel like it's a lot of light y'all I, I need some help anybody out there can help me with my video setup or whatever help me out because I, I don't know but I'm just going to flip this over and because it wasn't as sticky as I want, not popping off like I want, but it shall. There we go. There we go. Be careful with it. Usually it will just pop off, but I noticed that it wasn't really sticking to my mat like I wanted to. And... I have a lot of um, sealing on this one because I kept forgetting how many times I had sealed it and as I sealed it some time ago. So, I don't know how many coats of sealing I got on here, but I know I should have enough. So, here's the image and we don't have to worry about these little strays. They're going to come off. We can just peel them off. Okay, so we got that. That's our 
just going to take this and give it a good little clean. I know that it's clean, but I'm going to clean it one more time. Just because that's the kind of night I'm having. All right. I'm just going to take a little alcohol and a coffee filter. Put some alcohol up on there. Just give this a wipe. I want to make sure it's clean and free from any dirt, grime, dust, oil, anything like that. And a coffee filter. These come in handy. Coffee filters are great. So even if you got to carry buy yourself a pack of coffee filters, because they come in great for cleaning, dusting. It's come in great for your little projects, your crafting. Okay. So that's that. Let me get y'all back situated. All right. Let's see where we at here. Here we go. All right, so that's clean. Now, I have my bowl of water. It's lukewarm. Not hot, hot, hot. Lukewarm. And you're just going to put your image in the water. Allow your image to set in the water for about 30 to 60 seconds, um, a minute, no longer, is about all you should need. Your image is going to curl up, but if you have it properly sealed, you do not have to worry about your, your picture, your inks running or anything like that. Um, your plate is ready because it's clean. No matter how much I clean it, I keep seeing little spots. And so I'm just gonna take a little bit of this water and just put a little bit on the plate just so that the image can slide because this paper is very very thin but we're going to be sure to get all of the water out all right so i'm just going to take this drop it in you can see that it's curling up but i'm going to open it up and you can see that none of the inks are fading okay i hope you can see that none of the inks are fading Try to bring y'all down right there, hopefully. And we're just gonna let this sit, and you'll know that your image is ready when your the back of the of the paper easily slides away from the front of the image. Okay, so you can take it out and just see if it slides easily. You see how that's sliding? Okay. I'm going to move the water. And we're just going to take this image. And I'm going to stand up. And I'm going to slide this way. I'm going to drop my image down. My hands are clean. But I'm going to take my hand, hold it over the image. And I have this paper. I'm just going to grab the paper while applying just a little bit of pressure and slide the paper out. And there we go. Boom. Okay. So now what we need to do is position the image properly on the plate. And then we're going to smooth out the wrinkles. But see how easy that is? Now you'll look at yours and you'll work with your placement. The sizing is going to depend on your particular plate. I'm just going to take a little bit of this water and wet this. And I'm wetting the top of this because I want to be able to slide. That's too much water. Too much. Slide this uh, coffee filter across this picture without disturbing it because this paper is very thin and so all I'm doing is kind of rubbing from the inside out okay and I've used way too much water so I'm gonna grab another coffee filter Way too much water. I'm just gonna grab a coffee filter 
They put it on there to soak up some of that excess water. Okay. And now we wanna slide the coffee filter across the image. And what we're trying to do is to work out the wrinkles. Work out the wrinkles, but being ever so gentle, ever so gentle, not to tear the picture. So I'm gonna take my silicone brush and I'm just gonna, from the inside, the center out, just start trying to pull that water out. And you won't be, you can't see it on camera, but there is water that is just actually coming right out from up under that image. And you'll be able to see where you have bubbles or lumps. And that's because there's air or water there. And so I'm just pulling it out kind of evenly, gently. And then I'll take my coffee filter and absorb, let the coffee filter, coffee filter absorb some of that extra water. Okay. I can see over here there's still some water there and now what you're going to do is you're going to let this sit after you get most of the water out you want to sit and let this dry and you want to let this dry i would say for at least two hours two hours at least um find something else to do just leave it because we really want it to be dry because the next step is we're going to put this in the oven okay this is gonna go into the oven. We're gonna cure this in the oven. Um, oven set on 250 degrees for about um, 15 minutes. And to get that picture stuck onto the plate. What it's gonna do is that heat is gonna activate that glue. The glue is gonna stick to the plate. And you have a less chance of worry that it's going to come off. Now these are gentle. They're not to, to, you're not to eat off of this. You don't want to put it in the dishwasher. This is decorative. De what is it? Decorative. Ha <laughs> ha. Decorative. This is decorative, y'all. For decoration purposes only. But how nice is that? How nice is that? Okay. So that's it. That is it. What I'm going to do now is let this sit for an hour. I'm going to put it in the oven. And... Then I am going to apply my writing. So I'm going to let this sit and I will be right back. All right, beautiful people. We are back and our water slide plate is done. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. These are my grandparents, whether y'all know it or not. I didn't say it throughout the video. I didn't want to get all, you know, I ain't want to get into a certain kind of place, but that's my grandmother and that's my grandfather. My grandfather has gone on to paradise. And so I thought that this would be a great memorial gift for my grandmother. Um, they were married like 50 something years or something like that. And so true love is forever. And this just makes a great gift. Okay, I know that my grandmother is gonna sit this on you know, the older people have curio cabinets, things like that, buffets. Um, and so I know that she has a place that she can find for it. And I'm going to send her this little stand. Um, I have another stand. Now this stand usually comes with the plates if you buy them. Um, and it's a plastic stand and it works, but I wanted to give her something a little bit more sturdier. This um, that stand comes from Amazon. This one is a folding, it just opens, and and it also works. So um, definitely a way, a great way to display a you know a great piece of memorabilia, uh, old vintage photos, loved ones, good times, you know, happy moments. Um, so I hope that you like this. Um, I'm going to do, I've done a lot of these. These were a big hit for me around Christmas time. And so I've done a lot of them. I posted a couple images in the videos. I didn't want to get to putting too many people pictures out there without their permission and whatnot, but they come out lovely. 
the better the picture, the better the plate. But with some of your older photos that um, have some, you know, some flaws or whatever, this is still an excellent way to um, transform that photo into a beautiful keepsake. So I hope that you like this video. I have so much fun making these plates. Um, and each one comes out beautiful but different. And again, you can you can uh, make your words say whatever you want them to say, whatever your customer wants it to say to capture that, that memory or that photo. But that's it. So you just need some water slide paper, an inkjet printer, a nice plate, and I'm going to drop a video, a link in this video to show you how to get your text curved around your plate. If you don't already know, I curved my text in silhouette. So it's going to be a link in there for a little video to show you how to get that text curved perfectly around that plate. But I just love that. And I, I hope that my grandmother loves it. Um, I really hope that she likes it. Um, and this, that this is something that she... Um, something that she can look at every day and bring her some joy, some peace, some comfort, that sort of thing. So feel free to uh, drop in the comments for me what you would do different, what type of pictures would you use on your plate, um, that sort of thing, where you've seen some nice plates at. Drop it in the comments. Let me know how you like this video. Give it a thumbs up so that I know that you like it. Hit that subscription button. That really helps me. I don't do a lot of videos, but I am trying to um, put quality material out there, things that I think that um, you would like and enjoy doing, things that I like and enjoy doing. Um, so hit the subscription button and then hit that notification bell and you'll be notified when I drop another video. So until we meet again, of course, stay in peace.